Hi, I'm Dr. Uttam Vannav, Associate Professor in Department of Chemistry, IIT Guwahati. I'm also associated with Center for Nanotechnology and Jyoti in Bhupen Mehta School of Health Science and Technology. Today I'm going to talk about this liquid marble base, this how to control their footing time on a water pool. So this is a new concept altogether for you know uh, how you can manipulate these soft materials. So uh, just before going far further, I'd like to tell you, you know, like this is the concept where you can float a liquid, that is water, on a water. It sounds very, you know, kind of um, interesting, right? Like you feel like it's, it's probably not possible to floating water on water, but you can do that. So in this particular strategy, basically you take the water droplet and you roll around a, a hydrophobic particles. And then if it is stable enough, you can place on a water pool. So then in that case, this coated water droplet can float on water for a specific time frame. You can program their lifetime and that is the things was not there. The liquid model was there from a few years or decades, but people doesn't know how to control their lifetime, floating time on a water pool. And that is the th something we're doing here, just following a simple chemical modulations and choosing some nano architect. Here we choose this hollow uh, architect of this nano material called halocyte. So that geometrical uh, architect of the nanomaterial and the control modulation of the hydrophobicity allow us to control their lifetime. As if like, you know, it's kind of a time bomb, like, you know, you don't need any kind of manual interventions and you set the time and then it can cross, right? So this is exactly similar to that where you coat with a particular particles in chemically modulated such a way that it is going to burst at a specific time frame. That time frame you can manipulate from the minutes to hours or more than hours. And that is the strategy was not there uh, before and we got that breakthrough in this particular article. Hi, I am Nishanta Verma. Uh, we are from Antigohati and we work in the bio-inspired polymeric materials lab. Myself Saurabh Kumar. Myself Priyam Mandal. Myself Karan Jain. And today I will be demonstrating uh, floating of liquid marbles on water surface. This is a super hydrophobic powder which we have formed using modified nanoclay which we use to form our liquid marbles. So I'll be demonstrating the formation with 10 microliters of water droplet. This has been dyed with methylene blue for visual representation. I'll proceed by gently rolling this water droplet on the powder bed. As you can see, the water droplet gets completely covered with this super hydrophobic powder. Now I'll proceed transferring this droplet of water onto the water bed. You can see now that the water droplet which has been wrapped with this super hydrophobic powder is simply floating on the water. We have already seen like how to prepare these liquid marbles and how we can encapsulate the liquid phase and then how we can place on the water pool and they can remain stable, right? But it's for specified time durations and after that it can pass on its own automated way. So this principle can be taken forward to demonstrate two important applications, one is drug release, another one is cascade chemical reactions and program chemical reactions. Let's go one by one, like here the drug release, right? Why the drug release is important okay. here? If you see the liquid marble, so basically you can liquid you can encapsulate and keep it, you know, dry, like provide a dry environment. So it will be contamination free environment, right? So that is the beauty about this system. So you can load the drug in a soluble formulations remain in liquid phase and then when you want to release you can basically choose the appropriate chemical modulations and it can burst probably after half an hour or one hour or two hours and that's the way in a specified time you can release the drug okay that is formulation as well as automated dusting and release that is the concept behind this drug release thing using this soft material now another thing is like cascade reaction in a water pool i can have one set of you know your reactants and then you can have another set of reactants which can go mutual reactions with the other reactants in the water pool now i can load four different kind of reactants 
you know, four different liquid molecules and I can save that time frame, right? So one can release probably within blast in you know, 15 minutes, it can release, it can give one product. And then second one draws in another specified time and release, it can probably react with the product which is already there in the water pool. And that's the way you can do this cascade reaction or program reaction. So that would be another avenue to play with in the future. And I think this material has immense potential in this direction. And now this application is not restricted for only these two dimensions. Many other dimensions can be added on with some added value in this na nanomaterials and these soft materials. Now in this particular uh, paper, we have restricted with these two applications. And I really thankful to our institute, uh, DBT, ACRB, and MEIT for their funding support, generous funding support. Thank you.